Prime Minister Pham Min Chin, and his entourage arrived at Nanning Airport on September 16 morning, starting his participation in the 20th China ASEAN Expo, and China ASEAN Business and Investment Summit, at the invitation of the Chinese government. With his participation in the event, Vietnam sends out its clear and consistent message on the foreign policy of attaching importance to the relations with China, thus making bilateral relations develop in a healthy, stable, substantial and effective way in the time to come. Later on September 16, Prime Minister Pham Min Chin held talks with Chinese Premier Li Qing. Both sides expressed their delight at, and spoke highly of the progress in Vietnam-China relationship, in recent years, especially since the historical China visit, by Party General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong last year. Underscoring the importance of the Vietnam-China relations, in the overall foreign policy of each country, Prime Minister Chin affirmed that, the Vietnamese party, and state attach great importance to, and consider the development of a friendly, stable and healthy cooperative relationship with China, a strategic choice, and top priority, in Vietnam's foreign policy. In reply, Li asserted that China always considers its relationship with Vietnam a priority in the overall framework of its neighborhood policy. Both sides agreed to continue effectively realizing the common perceptions reached by their party leaders to further enhance and deepen bilateral comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership. The Chinese Premier affirmed that China will continue opening its market for Vietnamese goods. The two leaders agreed on the importance of managing differences properly and maintaining peace and stability in the East Sea. They also promised to work closely together at global and regional forums. The same day, Prime Minister Pham Min Chin hosted Liu Yuning, member of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China, Secretary of Guangxi Party Committee, and Chairman of the Standing Committee of the People's Congress of the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region in Guangxi Province's Nanning City. The Vietnamese Prime Minister spoke highly of bilateral cooperation potential, and outlined six breakthrough areas for cooperation with Guangxi in the coming time, namely infrastructure connectivity, economic trade investment cooperation promotion, expanding people-to-people -people and youth exchanges, close cooperation in the field of border gates, good implementation of three document on the management of the Vietnam-China land border, and close cooperation in education and training. Agreeing with Prime Minister Chin's proposals, Liu affirmed that the party organization, authorities and people of Guangxi will follow common perceptions reached by leaders of the two countries and parties, expand and deepen friendly exchanges with the Vietnamese localities as well. Also on the day, Prime Minister Pham Min Chin met with leaders of several leading Chinese conglomerates, receiving Chairman of the Executive Board of China Railway Chen Yun. Prime Minister Chin said Vietnam welcomed the Chinese enterprises and the China Railway, in particular, to expand their operation in Vietnam, in the spirit of harmonizing interests and sharing risks. He suggested the China Railway continue working with relevant Vietnamese ministries and localities to develop new projects in Vietnam, including the Lao Cai Hanoi Haiphong Express Railway, linking with the Kunming Hanoi Haiphong Economic Corridor. In a reception for Wang Xiaojun, Deputy General Manager of Power China, Prime Minister Chin said the Vietnamese government commits to create all possible support to Chinese firms and the Power China in particular. He suggested that the Power China explore cooperation in Vietnam's priority areas, including infrastructure, one of Vietnam's three strategic breakthroughs 